Well, the Republican program to take over, privatize, steal from the commons, turn it over to rich people, rolls on. As we've been talking about, the, the, uh, they now have this thing, the American Action Network, where they will send people or send talking points, if you're a Republican member of Congress, to people who are showing up at your town halls so that they can ask friendly questions and make it seem like you're not being hassled because you're supporting the Ryan bill. Because so many Republicans are getting hassled about this. But what we're seeing here, whether it's whether it's what uh, Rick Snyder's doing in Michigan, whether it's what uh, Scott Walker's doing in Wisconsin, whether it's what John, you know, former Fox uh, host John Kasich is doing as governor of, of uh, uh, Ohio, you know, on and on it goes. Mitch Daniels in Indiana. I mean, you name it. 13 states run by Republicans now. It's all about privatizing. And the places that they want to start are any land that looks like it might be stealable to give to developers, as we're seeing in Benton Harbor, Michigan, and, you know, particularly lake sh- lakeshore land, lakeside land that, that's, like, really cool, and schools. There is money to be made in education. There's a reason why Neil Bush got into the education business after his Silverado savings and loan went belly up, and he walked away with a million bucks, but Reagan declined to throw him in jail along with the thousand other banksters who did go to jail back in the 80s and now he's in the education business there's a reason why because privatized education is profitable because you know we as a society decided we want to give our kids a decent education and that's part of that has been part of our common since since before the america was in america was was the united states and now these extreme right wingers and their rich buddies want to say no nah, Sorry, that part of the commons, it's ours. And if you want an education, you get you get to talk to us. Shanta Driver is one of the main forces working back against this. The uh, she's the national chairperson of By Any Means Necessary. B A M N dot com is the website. Twitter is at follow B A M N. And uh, Shanta, welcome to the program. Thank you. Tell us what's happening in Detroit. Well, in Detroit, we're seeing um, our public education system sold off to private uh, charter companies that um, can put in bids to buy the public school system of Detroit. We've, we will, if things go as are now planned, lose two-thirds of our public schools in two years. And those that can't be sold off are just being closed down, which means that whole neighborhoods in Detroit now have no elementary school or middle school, and that means that those neighborhoods are themselves declining because anyone who can get out gets out, and the people who can't afford to leave because the housing prices have fallen so dramatically in Detroit are forced to live in a city that does not offer their children public education. I know when I when I lived in Portland that one of the... I remember speaking with a member of the city council who said that one of the most common reasons cited why people, why companies moved to Portland, Oregon, and why they were easily able to get employees to come to Portland, Oregon, is because they had a good public school system and uh, heavy urban planning, uh, you know, very, very restrictive zoning in Portland, so that you were always, your kids were always relatively within walking distance of a school or, you know, close enough. And I mean, not to say that they don't have their problems there; they certainly do. But, but uh, this—it seems like you know, shutting down schools in neighborhoods and forcing the kids to to uh, presumably take a bus someplace else is not the kind of thing that's going to bring businesses into a community. That's going to bring you know uh, people into a community. I think that's exactly right. And what's um, what's really crazy um, about what's happening in Detroit is that some of the schools now that are been put on the block to be sold are schools for um, are real specialty schools that have brought money into the Detroit school district because they offer unique programs that, in in the case of the Catherine Ferguson Academy, no other school in the country offers. And in the case of the Detroit School for the Deaf, no other school in the state of Michigan offers. And the, you know, the ostensible reason for shutting down the schools and, and selling them off was originally presented as 
a way to turn around failing schools and or um, a way to stop the, the financial slide of the district. And what the closings of, of the School for the Deaf and Catherine Ferguson make clear is this is an ideological attack on the basic democratic rights of American people to be able to get a, a public education, which is one of the most treasured and revered gains that we've made over the course of of, you know, uh, the, the centuries of our existence and for black and Latino students in, in Detroit since, since the, the Civil Rights Movement and Brown versus Board of Education. We're talking with Shanta Driver. She's the national chairperson of By Any Means Necessary. B-A-M-N dot com is the website. It's dot com, right? It is. Thank okay, you. Thank you. And, and um, Shanta, tell us the story of this school for, uh, is it Catherine Ferguson, did you say? That's right. It's, um, it's a school for um, teen moms who have been in the Detroit public school system, and there's a long list of students from other districts waiting to get into this school who, um, who became pregnant and had a child. And the school is one of a kind in the country because it offers not only the mothers an opportunity to go to school and get their, their high school diploma, but it also provides life skills training. It provides an opportunity for um, the mothers to learn how to deal with the stresses of being a teenage mother, and it provides for their children on-site daycare and um, early childhood education programs. There's a nurse at the school and a doctor that's on call There's a farm attached to the school, even though this is right in downtown Detroit with horses and goats and pigs. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful place. And it's had a tremendous success rate in terms of those young moms being able to go on to college. And um, while most of the, the information on their children is a bit more anecdotal, it seems clear that their children have done better than almost any other young person entering the Detroit school system over the course of the last 20 years. And in fact, this school is not only in trouble, not in trouble financially, this school arguably is contributing, is, is showing a small profit that is helping support other schools nearby. That's right, because in, in Michigan, um, the per-pupil state funding allotment goes with a student um, that moves from one school district to another. So every student that um, is able to come to the school from any of the Detroit suburbs brings that money with them. So if you have a full school, you can have a, quote, profitable school, end quote. And so they want to privatize this under under the rubric of it's failing economically or it's failing academically when you have a virtually a hundred I understand it's a hundred percent college acceptance rate to those kids who graduate and decide to go to college that's right and you wow. know this this school has been um, there was a, a documentary made yeah. on it yeah. um, I mean it's been it's just been featured and Rick Snyder and his rich buddies want it they want it they want it because they think that they could sell it off to some private charter company. We have just a few seconds left. How close are they to getting it? Very close. We're making this fight. The students occupied the school um, and they were dragged out by the police. It was an old-fashioned civil rights fight. Right. And we're going to keep it up. We're, okay. we're going to try to hold on to this. School. There you go. Well, people can learn more about it and they can support your efforts over at B-A-M-N, as in by any means necessary, B-A-M-N dot com. Shanta Driver, thanks so much for dropping by and for the great work you're doing uh, advocating for public schools and this one in particular. Uh, Shanta, thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. This is the Tom Hartman Program. The Republican drive to steal the commons from us and give it to their rich owners continues. 